The proposed Gordie Howe International Bridge, a shimmering testament to cross-border collaboration, was to be more than just an architectural marvel. It was envisioned as a vital artery connecting Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario, two cities joined by history, culture and the mighty Detroit River. This new six-lane span, soaring gracefully over the water, promised to alleviate traffic congestion, boost economic growth and cement the bond between Canada and the United States. Hopes were high, aspirations even higher. The existing Ambassador Bridge, a privately owned behemoth showing its age, had long struggled to handle the ever-increasing flow of commercial traffic. Trucks, the lifeblood of cross-border trade, often found themselves mired in hours-long delays, costing businesses time and money. The Gordie Howe Bridge, with its dedicated truck lanes and streamlined customs plazas, was touted as the solution, a symbol of progress and efficiency. It was a dream shared by many, a vision of a more interconnected and prosperous future. The bridge's namesake, Gordie Howe, the legendary hockey player who transcended borders with his skill and sportsmanship, embodied the spirit of the project. His name, synonymous with excellence and determination, lent the bridge an aura of greatness, a sense that this monumental undertaking would be a fitting tribute to his legacy. The bridge, like Howe himself, represented the best of both countries, a testament to what could be achieved through shared ambition and a commitment to progress. The planning stages of the Gordie Howe International Bridge were a testament to meticulous engineering and grand economic aspirations. Experts from both sides of the border collaborated tirelessly, poring over blueprints, analyzing traffic patterns and assessing environmental impacts. The bridge, a feat of modern engineering, was designed to seamlessly integrate with the existing infrastructure, minimizing disruption while maximizing efficiency. Funding for the multi-billion dollar project was secured through a unique public-private partnership, with the Canadian government shouldering the lion's share of the cost. The investment, they argued, was not just in steel and concrete, but in a shared future. The bridge, they projected, would create thousands of jobs, attract new businesses, and inject billions of dollars into the regional economy. Proponents of the project, armed with economic impact studies and glowing projections, touted the bridge as a game changer. They envisioned a revitalized waterfront, bustling with new businesses and residential developments. The bridge, they argued, would not only facilitate the flow of goods and services, but also foster tourism and cultural exchange, bringing people closer together. The economic benefits, however, extended far beyond the immediate vicinity of the bridge. Improved border crossing efficiency, it was argued, would have a ripple effect throughout the entire Great Lakes region, boosting trade, attracting investment, and creating a more competitive business environment. The Gordie Howe Bridge, in the eyes of its supporters, was not just a bridge, but a catalyst for economic growth and prosperity. Despite the lofty promises and meticulous planning, the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project soon found itself mired in a quagmire of political maneuvering and legal challenges. The Ambassador Bridge Company, fiercely protective of its monopoly over cross-border traffic, launched a relentless campaign to thwart the project, employing an army of lawyers and lobbyists to stall its progress. Political battles erupted on both sides of the border, with opponents of the project questioning its cost, necessity, and potential environmental impact. Some argued that the existing Ambassador Bridge could be upgraded to handle the increased traffic flow, while others questioned the wisdom of investing billions of dollars in a new bridge during times of economic uncertainty. Community groups too voiced their concerns, worried about the impact of the project on their neighborhoods, property values and quality of life. The bridge's footprint, they argued, would displace residents, disrupt businesses and scar the landscape. Public consultations, while held, often devolved into shouting matches, highlighting the deep divisions within the community. The legal challenges fueled by the deep pockets of the Ambassador Bridge Company dragged on for years, tying the project up in a web of lawsuits and injunctions. Every legal victory for the bridge's proponents seemed to be met with a countersuit, delaying construction and adding to the mounting costs. The dream of a new bridge, once so full of promise, seemed to be slipping away bogged down in a quagmire of litigation and political wrangling. As of November 2023, 
the Gordie Howe International Bridge remains a dream unrealized, a symbol of both ambition and the often frustrating realities of large-scale infrastructure projects. Construction, though initiated, has been plagued by delays and cost overruns, leaving the project's future shrouded in uncertainty. The bridge, once slated for completion in the mid-2020s, now faces an uncertain timeline. The project's stalled progress has left many wondering about its ultimate fate. Will it ever be completed, or will it become another cautionary tale of political wrangling and bureaucratic inertia? The economic benefits, once touted as a sure thing, now seem less certain. Their realization dependent on a host of factors, including the pace of construction, the resolution of legal challenges, and the overall health of the regional economy. The bridge's legacy, even in its unfinished state, is a complex one. It stands as a testament to the power of collaboration, with Canada and the United States working together to overcome logistical and diplomatic hurdles. Yet it also serves as a stark reminder of the challenges inherent in such ambitious undertakings where political considerations, financial realities and community concerns often collide. The Gordie Howe International Bridge, whether it eventually welcomes its first truck or remains a partially completed monument to unrealized dreams, will forever be a potent symbol of the promise and peril of large-scale infrastructure projects. Its story, still being written, offers valuable lessons about the complexities of cross-border collaboration, the enduring power of vested interests, and the importance of balancing economic aspirations with the needs of the communities they are meant to serve.